Authoritarianism, fascism breeds in times of economic crisis, political instability, and rampant propaganda. We're currently facing all three of these crises at once. The solution is to boost our economy through a 21st century New Deal by passing the $3.4 trillion infrastructure package, which not only provides a much-needed safety net, which will transform lives and lift people out of poverty, it will also transition us towards cleaner energy and other aggressive measures to combat the climate crisis, which is why Exxon lobbyist Joe Manchin, who regularly meets with Exxon, according to someone who worked there, is against it. We also need to secure our democracy against political instability by passing protections against voter suppression relied on by Republicans in many states to hold on to power and threaten our presidential elections. We can do that right now by passing the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and the For the People Act. As for disinformation, bring back a 21st century version of the Fairness Doctrine and also the Telecommunications Act, which both saw the rise of Fox News and the right-wing media Death Star after they were repealed. Those two systems of regulation protected our media against polarization and monopolies. Now they're gone, and you have right-wing media like, like Sinclair gobbling up local news stations. So there are measures that can be taken for all of us, white, non-white, man, woman, non-binary, LGBTQ, doesn't matter. We can all live in a safer, peaceful, prosperous America. It can be done. Another world is possible. There is a roadmap to do it, and, and these laws can be introduced now at the state level to grow these all-important movements, to further these urgent conversations. 